what's up y'all welcome back to another weekend vlog it is friday and we are getting ready to start our day i do have to run some errands today i gotta go get my fingerprints done i have to go to the minute clinic to get a shot and that's really it but i'm about to head out and then i don't know what i'm doing for the rest of the day but we don't really have any plans this weekend either, so I don't really know how this vlog is gonna go, but I guess I'll show y'all my little fit check. But it's cold, but I haven't been outside yet, so hopefully I'm okay. It's a real simple little fit. I got some charcoal black jeans on with my platform Converse and a crew neck that says New York City on it. And then my leather jacket on top, a leather egg as well. Hopefully I'm not too cold. Just threw this on. I am really loving like and embracing my natural hair, y'all. It's so pretty. Honestly, I wash my hair, blow dry it, braid it up or do whatever style. I don't really look at my hair. So I think I'm gonna start flat ironing it, especially since it's so cold. But I do want to get the right products. Like I need to do a protein treatment and stuff. But my hair is shedding like a lot um from the stress i'm guessing so i need to do like a protein treatment or something to keep my hair healthy and keep it from shedding and do like a scalp detox just, i just need to get my life together so i'm still doing some research on some good hair products that can help me with that but if you know any please let me know down in the comments because i need it Bad. yeah here's to just embracing the natural you like no makeup no nothing my skin is getting better like because i haven't been putting anything on my face and i just love this for me i love that i'm not stressed it's just a beautiful beautiful thing okay but let's get going before i'm late and my appointment is like six minutes away so but my first appointment done literally it took two minutes to do let me tell y'all i learned to drive in florida and on the florida driving test you do not have to parallel park. So for the longest time, I had no idea how to parallel park. Terrible, terrible thing. So like if I would go downtown or something and I drove, like if I was with my friend and I drove my car, she would get out and then parallel park the car because where she had to learn how to drive, <laughs> she knew how to parallel park. So that's just what I was doing. And mind you, back then I had a Beetle, a Volkswagen Beetle, so small and I could not, parallel park to save my life so now husband always drives and when we have to parallel park i'm in the passenger seat so when i moved to charlotte and i was going out by myself like meeting up with friends and i would have to parallel park so i had to teach myself pretty much i like called him on the phone and asked him like what am i supposed to do which is pretty much common sense i back into parking spots all the time and i know there's a thing like oh people who put back into parking spots think they're better than people know it's just easier to get out that way if you are a person who doesn't know how to parallel park but you back up into parking spots everywhere parallel parking is very easy because it's just common sense now i have gotten really good at this and up here in virginia there's a lot of parallel parking and so i'm saying all this to say that where i had to come today is parallel parking and i did really good like really really good so i'm really proud of myself for knowing how to parallel park now because I'm 30. I didn't start parallel parking till I was 28. I got my license or I got my permit when I was 16. Yeah, so from 16 on, I was I did not know how to parallel park. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ashamed of this or not, but it just was not a requirement to pass the driver's test. So anyway, um okay so i have to go get my tb test it's 11 18. i have exactly an hour well two more minutes it'll be exactly an hour until i have to go over there but i really don't know where that is from here so maybe i should just start heading that way it can't be that far y'all this is so crazy i did not know when i scheduled my uh appointments that literally i looked up where i need to go next because i'm thinking i gotta drive it's a three minute walk. Yeah, I think I'm gonna walk around. I had no idea because there was multiple CVSs that popped up. Who knew they were, this was the same thing I looked up because I was gonna go to the one that was in Target and that's on the other side. Look at that, okay. So I've just been in the car um, going through like my influencer 
platforms and stuff, trying to, you know, see if I can get some money, <laughs> trying to sign up for these um, campaigns. But I'm sitting here in the car and there's a med spa. And I've seen one lady come out with a dog, one lady go in with a dog, but it's a human med spa. Now, I'm an esthetician and dogs are not supposed to be in the spa like i'm confused unless they're you know like a service animal but it's little yorkie little you know that ain't no service animal can't be <laughs> and then i'm just like people watching i love people watching and i see like the ladies coming out with their bag their expensive bag getting into their range rovers their mercedes their bmws whatever luxury cars a lot of people drive porsches around here but i'm just like looking around and i'm like I love to see it. You just out here getting your spa treatment, getting your nice car, going shopping with your nice bag, with your nice, yes. I love it. I love to see it. Now, I don't see many of around here, but they're around here somewhere. I know they're here. Love to see it. Love to see it. Love to see the luxury. Love to see the girls living. But love it. Love it. Love it for me. Just, how can you hate on that? You can't. But I, I don't understand the dogs in the spa. That's a little weird for me. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what that's about. Because I don't think I would want to go to a spa and there's dogs in there. And I love dogs, but <laughs> I don't get it. All right, so we are back home and I normally drink Olipop prebiotic soda when I want a soda fix. I don't drink any type of soda. But I did used to really like the like grape Fanta, pineapple Fanta, stuff like that. So I've tried a few Olipop flavors. My favorite is the grape. The grape is the best one. But my my grievance with Olipop is they do sell like some four packs, but they don't sell grape four packs. Or maybe I just haven't looked, but when I go to the store, they always have a flavor I don't like in a four pack, never grape. But I've never tried Poppy and this is another pre prebiotic soda and um, I wish I had an Olipop can to kind of compare but I do see that this has apple cider vinegar and I don't know how to feel about that but I'm a little uh, skeptical about it but we're about to try it. I'm about to try it on camera because they usually sell these in cases. I've seen them at the local grocery store right here. I don't like drinking out of a can. Right. I'm scared. No. Olipop is way better than Poppy. No. Taste it again. It's like watered down. It, like. No. This grape tastes like medicine. No, 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 no. If you have not tried, if you actually like this, y'all need to try the grape Olipop if you have not. But even if you haven't tried a grape Olipop, try the grape Olipop. Especially if you're a person who is addicted to soda or pop, it will get you right because it's healthy for your gut and all that. This is a two, it's a, um, Oh my god, it tastes like cough syrup. Heck no. Okay. I'm about to go edit some more and I'll check back in with y'all later. So, let me wait for this beeping to stop. Okay. Put your seatbelt on, shouty. So, as y'all saw, we went to eat some Thai food. It was really, really good. I love Thai food. And I found the perfect place very close by. But we decided to come to the outlet and walk around. We just went no shopped and smelled fragrances and stuff. But it's cold, so I didn't feel like pulling out my camera. But tell me why at 6.15 we're drinking this. The question is... It's Friday, though. Why not? It is a... um. What is this? Caramel Latte Cold Brew. So good. And for some reason, when it's cold outside, I like to drink 
these cold drinks. When it's hot, I still drink these cold drinks. <laughs> I don't really, I don't like to wait for my drink to cool down. Like what, like a hot coffee or something? But I will drink um, like hot chocolate or something. That's the only hot drink that I like. Yeah, I don't like hot coffee. I prefer my coffee iced. We're about to head home now, right? Yeah. We'll see where this coffee takes us tonight. Hello guys, it is Saturday and one o'clock. We just got up, what, what time did we get up? At the bed. An hour ago, that coffee had us up, like really late. I didn't go to bed until like 3.30. You were asleep before. He was asleep before me. Went to bed at like three. I was scrolling, scrolling on TikTok. But from the time we got home until about 2.30, he was playing his game and I was editing on the computer. And I got actually a lot done. So maybe I need to drink coffee more often <laughs> and be wiry late at night. I also, honestly, even though I went to sleep, I still feel, hold on, I lost my train of thought. I said, I still feel like I am wiry the next day and it's one o'clock. So I got an almond, whatever I said, latte, cold brew latte. My teeth started feeling weird. And honestly, my stomach felt a little weird. I just didn't say anything. Really? Yeah. Like, I think I was just hungry or something. Like, I don't know. It wasn't like my stomach was hurting or anything. I kind of just felt like I needed to like throw up or pass out. Just a tad bit, but I don't, I don't be saying nothing when I feel like that. Why not? Mm -hmm. Maybe I need some water, cause you know coffee dehydrates you. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So I'm gonna be drinking water today. I don't drink coffee like that. I'm not a coffee person, um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it dehydrated me. And it makes you go to the bathroom. It makes you pee more. So the more you pee, you're losing hydration. So I want some more curry puffs cause them things were bomb. I had one left and I ate it last night and I savored it as much as I could, but I was upset when it was gone. So I want some more of those. They were delicious. It's like flaky, but crispy, but soft. And then the inside, the curry part, the chicken is like savory with the curry, but then it's sweet. And it just all together, the potatoes, oh, amazing. I need some more. Can I please get some more today? Uh, you said you want to leave the house. I don't want to leave the house, but I will leave. It's right down the street, like literally five minutes. I want to try their like crispy wontons and stuff like that. Like I love appetizers that are like at Thai restaurants and stuff. Super good, but those curry puffs and then even warmed up. You warmed it up in the microwave? Mm -hmm. Still good. Normally I will put stuff like that either in the oven or like air fryer, but in the microwave, it was so good. But we're not doing anything today, right? No. I just kind of want to sit on the couch and watch shows or something. I don't want to edit. I don't want to do that. Tomorrow, the first vlog goes out. It has taken me forever to freaking do. Oh, last night, I said I got editing done and stuff. But I also was watching like YouTube tutorials on how to do certain edits, like cool edits and stuff. I had a lot of time on my hands last night. I learned a lot last night. <laughs> Oh, we ordered our bed, finally. That should be here next week. Praying for the best with this bed. Mm, and that's about it. We're about to eat the rest of our Thai food. But yeah, I'm ready to eat, so. Talk to y'all later. Do you have anything you want to say? No. Keep it cool. Mm. It's Sunday evening. And we're eating, are we eating Peruvian? Mm -hmm. Super chicken, Peruvian, it's like rotisserie chicken. So I got rotisserie chicken, some rice and fries. And I should've just got double rice. He got some kind of bowl. I had to go earlier. Sorry y'all, I'm hungry. I had to go get my, um the little shot they gave me Friday. I had to go get it red today. And it's right near that Thai place. So I don't want to open it, but I got my curry puffs in there. Cannot wait to eat that. But I just want to show you guys, cause I'm, I'm so hungry. Hold on. I want to show y'all before I end the vlog, what I decided to do. 
but still let me know in the comments so I'm here stuff but I um was searching on TikTok because my hair has been shedding and people were suggesting the redkin aesthetic bonding but then I came across this guy black guy he was like L'Oreal and Redken are the same company have the same ingredients but L'Oreal is obviously cheaper I'm so sorry guys I'm so hungry <laughs> L'Oreal has a uh, repair kit that helps strengthen your hair which is basically the same thing so I got the little mini pack to see if I like this and it comes with the bond strengthening concentrate that you put before you shampoo and it comes with the bond shampoo and the bond conditioner so we're gonna try this hopefully i like it and then i just went to tj maxx because after that i need something that's like a it's gonna help moisturize and do like a silkiness for my hair so bio silk leave-in conditioner spray the 17 miracle spray and this is also supposed to repair repair your hair as well but also, you can put this on your skin. I, I don't know. And then I needed a heat protectant. So I just got Taraji Hot Commodity Heat Protectant. This doesn't smell that good. I use the Taraji Scalp stuff. I actually have a video on here. I'm about to link it right there of me trying her hair products when they came out. So yeah, I'm going to have a full hair day. Thank y'all for Let me not do this with my mouth. <laughs> okay. Once again, Thank you guys for tuning into another vlog. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, whatever down below. And we will see you in the next vlog. Deuces! Oh, 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 oh.